What's up, E-Gang? It's your girl, Ebony Elbow. I'm coming to you guys today with another video. I am feeling much better. Thank everybody for all your well wishes and everybody reaching out to me, praying for me, and hoping I feel better. I really, really, really appreciate it. So today, okay, let's talk. So one thing about me, ladies, I support plastic surgery to the fullest. I feel like you should do anything that makes you happy. So if you don't support plastic surgery or you got something to say, you might want to go ahead and get off this video. Or if you want to tell me how to live my life, go ahead and exit. Now, okay? Oh, yeah, y'all. Go ahead and like this video right now. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. What you wait for, like, it's free. Like, why you want to subscribe to something that's free? It's free. Subscribe and like it. Like, like it. Okay. So listen guys, so I have lost about 42 pounds, 42, 40, 42 pounds. So when you, and it was rather fast. So when you lose weight that fast, um, you get a little kind of saggy in some areas, which that really is not a concern because I can, um, I can like, you know, tone in the gym like i've been doing a lot of um strength training weights things like that to tone up my body especially my thighs they got like cellulite my butt i've been doing like my back um you know my back uh whatever they call those <laughs> and i've been doing my squats my ankle is finally well enough where i can do squats i couldn't do squats for a while because of my ankle but i've been doing all that but even with that alone it's not gonna give me the type of physique or the body that i want and then if you guys haven't watched my tummy tuck video, I linked it below. Go watch my tummy tuck video and you'll see like the graphic pictures. And I'll insert a picture here of my tummy tuck scar. It is ugly. But first of all, for the people that didn't watch my video, and matter of fact, I had on the same dress in that video and I look totally different. Anyway, but for the people that didn't watch that video, um, I went to Dr. Timothy Fee here in Florida and he didn't finish my tummy tuck. I was under anesthesia too long. I was losing too much blood, um, and not blood, oxygen to this area. And he had to stop for my safety. That was five years ago. He told me prior to him finishing that I had to lose 15 pounds. So it took, I think it was, yeah, 15 pounds. It took me five years to lose 15 pounds. Well, I take that back. I had a few things that happened in between. Like I had a baby. I had my appendix. Like a few days before I posted high surgery, my appendix ruptured. So things like that got in the way. But long story short, I didn't finish my tummy tuck. He did everything except the life pole. And you know, the life pole is basically when they go in and contour and make everything cute. Like that Coca-Cola shape. Which I kind of had that. But okay, so imagine. Okay, so he cut off so much. And then he pulled it down. And then I had got necrosis. Go, just watch the video. I got necrosis. All this skin died, as you'll see in the video. So he, they had to, I had to go to wound care and all that. So I ended up having that ugly scar. And it just ended up pulling straight down. So to me, it looks, I don't think y'all can see, but it looks boxy. I don't have that, mm, you know, when he go back in and do the um lipo. So... Which, he shouldn't have no statute of limitations on my money. I am going to make a consult appointment tomorrow, actually. I'm going to call tomorrow. I'm going to make an appointment for probably like two weeks from now. Because he did say I had to be a 235, which has to be a amount of 31 for my height. Before he will operate on me again. Before safety reasons. Which, I respect that. But, I already paid for the lipo. I paid for extra lipo with my tummy tuck. Because I wanted to get this here lipo and everything. Like that fat here under your bra. I wanted to get that lipo and because tummy tuck just come with basic lipo. So I paid for that and he stopped the surgery. I didn't tell him to stop. So I don't know if he's still going to honor it. It has been five years. I don't know if he's still going to honor it or not. But whether he does or don't, I'm going to have lipo and I want to get my breasts done. Um, That is the biggest factor of me losing weight. Like they saggy, y'all. Like I don't have on a bra right now. And look, like these girls... They just don't sit up no more. And, you know, if I put on a good Lane Bryant bra, which I really don't even need to go on Lane Bryant no more. But if I put on a good Vicky or Lane Bryant, yeah, they sit up nice. But I want them to sit up nice without a bra. I love clothes. I love fashion. I like shirts that 
require you not to wear a bra. So I think for me and to help me feel better, get in. Okay, so first I want a reduction. Well, no, I take that back. I won't need a reduction by the time I hit my goal weight. Um, I want to get a lift and I'm going to get implants. Well, guess what I want? I don't know what he's going to think the best option is. I'm going to talk to him about that when I do my consult. I know that I won't be getting the surgery. I'm going to have my consult, but I know that I won't be getting the surgery until I reach 200 pounds. I don't think it would be smart for me to go ahead and get the surgery now and I'm still losing weight. Um, I just want to hit my goal weight. Well, not even my goal weight. I want to be 180, but I'm starting to change that because I like to be thick. I don't want to be skinny. I don't, I, I, I love me. You know, I don't care what other people think, how I should look or society. I like being a thick girl. And to me, I'm getting a little too thin, you know, I'm crossing that line. And so I don't think I'm going to go to 180. I'm 5'7". That's tall. And 180, that's going to be like a stick. Because people starting to tell me now, like, okay, stop losing weight. And I've only lost 40, 42 pounds. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go to 200. See how I look at 200. But I'm not going to have the surgery until I get to 200 pounds. So, what it is, I think, um, if it's still the same, you put like $1,000 down. So, I'll go ahead and pay my money. I'm shooting for like April. Because I want to be ready by Memorial Day weekend. I'm going to either Jamaica or Cancun with my girls. So I want to be healed and ready and ready to show off my body. So right now it's like grind time, grind, 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 like in the gym every day, like doing what I got to do, doing what I got to do. It may end up being that I don't need the lipo. Hopefully I won't, but I do know I'm going to need my breasts done regardless of what happens. I do well race training that I got from Amazon. I'll list that link below. It does seem to work good. So like I say, I may not need the lipo. But I do want that if it if exercise and the waist trainer don't give me that mm, I'm looking for, then like all it is like and that's that's just what it is like this is my body this is my option this is my choice I feel like you should do what makes you happy I've had people tell me like no more surgeries why you care how much like how much surgery I have like I ain't asking nobody to pay for it I pay for it like I can do what I want this is my body like. When you feel happy about yourself, you don't worry about what other people do. Like, I want everybody to look good. Like, I'm just the type of person like, yes, sis, you look good, you look good. Everybody, I want everybody to look good. So, I am going to get that done. And finally, last but not least, I want lipo to my butt. Um, My butt is going down, but other areas of my body are going down a lot faster. And not even just going down because... I really don't want to lose all my butt. I see a lot of people, they lose weight and they lose all of their butt. And I don't want that to happen. But I want a better shape. Um, And I know, I don't even, I don't know. I'm going to do my research with this because I may go back to Dr. Fee and I may not. Because it's really tricky when you're doing lipo on the butt because they can either get it right or they can get it wrong. It ain't no in between. Like, it ain't no gray line. It's black or white. And the butt is like, you know, as women, that's like a... I crown like this. I, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I love a nice butt. Like, squat. I'm squatting it out over here because I know how I want my butt to look. And I just want lipo, like, you know, make it a more bubbly, you know, like bubbly and round. And certain areas I just want him to hit. Um, I'll see how it looks once I do the, um, not once I do the, once I lose the weight and I hit 200 pounds, I'll see how it looks. But, more than likely, I may get um, lipo in the butt or I may get like a BBL, like areas to fill in where I want it more round. So I'm going to let him tell me what he thinks. I'm going to do my research. A lot of my friends went to Mia Aesthetics in um, Miami, Florida, and they seem to do really, really good. It looks natural. They don't look like an ant. So I may let them do it. I don't know, but I do know that I want to reach my goal weight first. I do know that they're not going to operate on me. Even I'm like five pounds away, they're still not well, no, like eight, ten pounds away, they still won't operate on me. Um, because it has been so many fatalities, like by law now they make you um stay within your BMI requirements. So we'll see. I'm gonna take y'all with me when I go on my consultations, my surgery day, everything. I'm gonna take y'all with me to Cancun or Mexico. And I'm gonna start taking y'all with me to the gym. So y'all just stay tuned. The plastic surgery is coming. I can't wait to have my consultation. If y'all know any good doctors between 
like Miami, Atlanta. I remember they had some doctors um on a reality show in Atlanta, some black doctors. They were really, really good. Um, I may look into them too, but if y'all know any doctors that y'all want to recommend, drop their names below, inbox me, email me. You again, you can always follow me on Snapchat, Twitter. I have no Twitter now, Ebony Elbow. Um, Instagram, Ebony underscore elbow, Facebook is Ebony Elbow. So y'all hit me up. Let me know. Um, I'm really excited. I'm stoked. I'm pumped. And I'm just ready to get this body. Like, who did the body? Like, what? <laughs> All right, E-Gang. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.